carbs, 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 and ladies, it's our favorite time of year. It's football time. Let's make some soft pretzels today, ladies and gents. There's no call on the play for that because it's a touchdown. If that's not a good intro, I, I can't do anything else for you. All right, first things first, we're gonna do a little sugar and a little salt. Salt and sugar. I'm gonna go head over to the sink. Don't mind me, the sink is full of dishes. Here's what you're looking for in terms of water temperature. Is the water coming out of the faucet like near body temp? That's what you're looking for. Somewhere close to there. Anything too hot, your yeast is gonna die. You don't wanna do that, don't be a murderer. So now that you've got your yeast on top, you're gonna let it sit for like four or five minutes until it starts to foam on top. Seems like it's really doing a thing. We would do that, except I've got a lovely handy dandy assistant who happened to uh, already make it for me. So we're gonna go right into the bowl of our mixer. We are gonna add four and a half cups of AP flour. Get in there. Have a stick of butter. Now, you wanna make sure your butter is melted, but also not so hot that suddenly your temp for your yeast is gonna to get too warm. Mix it up! All right, so we're gonna first start with this on low just to get our flour and our butter and our yeast and our water all mixed together. And then we're gonna kick it up a notch and let the dough hook do the work for us. So we've got kind of like a shaggy dough happening now, which is now it's a good time that we're gonna kind of crank up our speed. I'm gonna lock my KitchenAid down because this is gonna be rock and rolling otherwise. It's a medium low speed. You don't want it to go too fast because this is basically like kneading a piece of dough. All right, see ya in four minutes. Great. Look at that guy. He's pulled away from the sides of the bowl. He's smooth. Our next step, good old Aunt Pam. How's it going? Love you, Pam. All right. So this is exactly the texture, right? Like this is barely sticking to me at all. Super smooth on top, kind of elastic feeling. So I'm just kind of molding him into a perfect little round little dough ball. Putting him right there. <laughs> We're just gonna cover them with a little plastic wrap and we're gonna put them to the side for about an hour. Now, if your kitchen's kinda cold, I would recommend putting, some, putting him somewhere where it's a little bit warmer. So, if you happen to have a gas oven, that is actually perfect. So just put it in the oven. Uh, don't turn the oven on. Kind of the heat from that pilot light will be just perfect for proofing dough. See you in an hour, bud. Boom, look at that guy, huh? Doubled in size. Perfecto. He's gonna shrink a little bit. You can kind of tell like the texture has changed because it's been resting and he was super puffy. So that's exactly what we were looking for. We're gonna visit our friend Aunt Pam again. Smart cookie, back to the day. <laughs> <laughs> now, a common myth about the creation of pretzels is that an Italian monk created them in like the year 601 or something insane like that. And this monk decided to make them and he created the shape to resemble a child in prayer, the crossed arms of a child in prayer. Now, that may be true, but there's actually no evidence to support that story. <laughs> What we do know is that the first actual reference to a pretzel is in the crest of the German Baker's Guild. And the first time that we really see anything, any writing about pretzels is in an encyclopedia that was written in 1185 um, called the, check your notes, Horticus Delicarium, which is the very first encyclopedia written by a woman, which leads me to a very important point. All the people that work on this show are ladies. So shout out ladies, you're smart, you're talented, and I love you. Yes, girl power! Let's eat some pretzels. All right. So I'm rolling this into a rope that's about maybe foot and a half, 24 inches, somewhere in there. 
Let's make a pretzel shape. Shelbs, this is all you, babe. Make a U. You're gonna make a U. And then you're gonna cross, twist, and stick it together. Let's do it seven more times. Everybody come on, stand with say hello. I'm gonna make a pretzel. <laughs> this is literally as good as it gets. Do you wanna do the last one? Come on. Make a U. Make a U? Make a U. Can I? Yep, sure can. One more time? Yeah, because it's fun. Yeah. Now cross, the, cross them over the tops. Okay. Uh-huh, and twist. Twist it, uh-huh, uh-huh, and yes, you did it! Yay! She did it. The Smart Cookie and Shelby! If that's not a sitcom, I don't know what is. Okay, next step. I've got about 10 cups of water. <laughs> Who can see it's so steamy in here? Take four. All right, I've got about 10 cups of boiling water, and what we need to add is two thirds a cup of baking soda. I know, we're used to seeing like a teaspoon of this, so. Isn't that fun? Uh, we're just going in, pretzels going in for about 30 seconds at a time. If you wanna play with fire, you could put two in here at the same time, but that makes me a little nervous because if they touch while they're in here, they're gonna be intertwined forever. And if you are okay with Siamese pretzels, that's fine. Okay. So, these are gonna be a little bit damp, but we're going right back on our parchment paper that's already been sprayed. The baking soda is gonna help with the color on these guys, but the egg wash doesn't hurt. So we're gonna do a little egg wash. I'm just using some Malden salt, which is like a large flaky salt. So if you don't feel like investing in pretzel salt, you could use whatever coarse salt you happen to have on hand. Now we're going into our oven that's been preheated at 450, so it is a super hot oven. And these only bake for like 12 to 14 minutes. You're just looking for these to be very like deep golden brown. All right. They're so cute. Yes, 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 yay! So, very important. While these are still hot, fresh out of the oven, we are gonna put some melted butter on top. We wanna do this while these are still hot because it's gonna soak into the still hot pretzel and it's gonna be so good. Okay, pretzels are fine and well, but you know what? They're really just a vehicle for dipping. So we are making some cheese dip. Here's the thing, you guys, the base of this, it's white American cheese. In restaurants, in like Tex-Mex restaurants in the South, the cheese dip is always white. I know when I lived in Chicago, it was not, and I was very confused. And I used to make this at parties and people would be like, why is this so good? And I'd be like, because it's made with American cheese. You're not above it, I'm not above it. We love it, it's delicious. This is just American cheese and some milk. And I'm gonna add some onions that have been sauteed with cumin, salt, We've got some fire roasted tomatoes and some chili and pickled jalapenos. Cheese dip, cheese dip. I love cheese dip and so do you. All right, soft pretzel time, soft pretzel time. It's still warm. It's so buttery. Look at that guy. Did you hear that crunch? That's how you know it's good, because it's like crunchy on the outside and it's a little soft and chewy on the inside. Yes. It's so good. It's delicious. I'm going in for cheese dip. It's crunchy on the outside. It's chewy and soft on the inside. It's salty. It's got cheese dip on it. It's delicious. Seriously, this is one of my favorite, favorite recipes that we have ever done on the show. So please try it. I hope that you will. And if you do, please let me know and make sure you like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, all the things. Reach out and touch someone with a pretzel. <laughs>
carbs, 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 carbs,